uh, hi everyone and welcome back and here we are with AWS console and this is the place from where we are going to start our journey okay so what I just did is I created a brand new AWS account I just need to add my debit card information and it started right now you have a root account so if you should not use root account frequently what you can do is log in with your root account and create one administrator so first of all we'll to take a look on to that IAM service identity access management service on AWS here I'm logged in with one of the user not from the root user so first thing you log in with the AWS uh, with the root user enable MFA multi-factor authentication you just need to install one uh, app on your mobile scan the QR code and pass the passcode twice and you have enabled MFA okay so whenever you log in with the root account you need to enter the MFA this is everywhere now on the github gitlab everywhere okay that is just for the security and now next task you have to do is you have to create a user using root access okay root access create one user like TKS user I have created this is administ having administrator access so in future if you want to log into AWS that act as administrator access then you can just log in with this user okay I created a default group which is uh, developer admin group okay I don't have a rules and policies right now we can just take a look on to the IAM console how this dashboards look like okay so if we just uh, look into all the users and all the account settings right we just have one user available and this is the group so if you look at the the overall the security of our account root account is secured now uh, for this administrator user you will be logging with this URL you just need to have your user ID and password that's the two things you need and for programmatic access whenever you create a new user like if I want to create a new user then it always uh, ask you you want to give programmatic access and console access you can choose one this is how we create a user and then you can add policies and all generated password and here you can actually either add it to the existing group or create a new group that new group will just uh, if you want to give access only for the s3 s3 read only access okay. so these are existing so we can just look for okay here i need to search our searching at different place i want to give access only for s3 and s3 also read only access and this is test s3 let's see this is the group i have created or you can just call it as a vendor group okay whenever they are logging in this particular user is logging in he will be able to see only s3 uh, console and he can only do s3 read only operations whenever he is going to access uh, aws from sdk and i can just create user this user will be created and you just need to download this same happened with the administrator account these are access key and secret key and uh, you can send an email now this user will go to this particular link and will enter user id and password this is how it is going to work now what we will do is let's delete this user we don't need it for now so whatever the resources you are creating as a test you should always keep uh, purging them you don't want to get unnecessary billing for creating users and all you are not going to be charged i'm talking about the compute and storage or networking resources okay so this is just a basic setup now you are administrator you are able to log in so you should be able to see all the services like uh, if i want to see a lambda uh, i can see lambda and api gateway and all because i'm administrator uh, i can create a new lambda create a function i can choose a technology so like it's a test lambda i'm choosing node.js latest version 12.x 14.x is latest okay and i can just create function so our objective is 
to use AWS console to write our full stack application. It's not necessary that we are going into deep on AWS functionality. We'll just talk about the core components we are going to use, which is basic IAM and uh, Lambda API gateway. These topics we will cover in depth because that is what will help us to create a full stack application. Okay, now let's meet in the next video and uh, we'll create our first Lambda and we will go through one by one on these services first. We will just do a touch base on API Gateway, Lambda, S3, DynamoDB, SQS and all these services. And then we will start our journey.